boy, he boy. The old Labor Commissioner's office, located on Upper Bridge Street, Castries, is the latest abandoned wooden structure to be overwhelmed by flames within the city center. Shortly after 4.30 p.m., the St. Lucia Fire Service received the call about the fire and upon arrival had not only the great fire to combat, but the low water pressure as well. They resorted to salt water hydrants and were able to bring the blaze under control without damage to nearby buildings. Former Fire Chief Lambert Charles lamented the perennial problem of abandoned derelict buildings in the capital, which he argues obviously pose a fire hazard. He says the situation is serious and needs to be addressed. That has been a perennial problem in the city. Um, the fact that buildings, once they become abandoned, are left um, and vagrants find themselves occupying these buildings. This is a fire hazard and these things can present serious problems to the rest of the city. Because imagine one abandoned building can take down an entire block. Depending on the location and how the fire started and what is available at the time to deal with it. So I think this is a serious situation that must be addressed by the powers that be. These buildings, once they become abandoned and serve no useful purpose, should be taken down. Acting Divisional Officer in the St. Lucia Fire Service, Jermaine William, echoed the former fire chief's sentiments, explaining the fire service expressed apprehension over the abandoned buildings and is hoping the appropriate measures will be taken. Well, definitely we, we, have, we have raised um, um, our concerns um, about those abandoned buildings. As you know, those buildings are usually um, slept in by persons who are, who are homeless and they, sometimes they want to um, light fires to cook or, or do stuff. So we, we, we have um, expressed our concerns as it relates to those abandoned buildings around the city and we're hoping that, um, if not um, taken down, but secured properly. However, the two officials were not the only ones who took the opportunity to voice discontent with the old structures that still stand. That building right to burn, it's not today, not last year, I'll be talking about that building. That building, Glasgow building, and another old building is around the place. That thing is in the heart of town. That building was the old labor department some years ago, and there was, I think, some telephone company there. That building is next to the police station. We have vagrants sleeping there, having a damn good time. Some years ago, I was, I was one of those who was sent to, to, to clean that building, and they got all debris in it, thinking they would demolish it or, 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 or block it up or, or close it, up to this day. So if it burns today, it's right to burn. The origin of the fire is reportedly under investigation. The building was known to be frequented by homeless and other people on Skid Row. Nearby proprietors and business owners have had to spring into action on more than one occasion to squelch small fires ignited in proximity to the structure, supposedly sparked unwittingly by the activities of denizens at night. The city of Castries has a long history with fires, including the Great Fires of 1927 and 1948. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.